good evening everyone and uh, i am thankful to csi north east sector for giving me the opportunity to present the case so uh, as you see uh, the heading is coronary intervention in anomalous uh, right coronary artery arising from the left sinotubular junction is an afield battle so i thought uh, this is a rare case so i uh, have uh, the opportunity to do the intervention with this uh, anomalous coronary artery so i thought i'll share my experience with this so as you all know coronary artery anomalies occur in one uh, to five percent patient undergoing normal routine coronary angiography and the high origin of rca above the left sub uh, left sinotubular junction and above the left coronary uh, origin is very, very rare. It's uh, almost uh, 0.0152.49%. Uh, so it's a very rare uh, presentation. So if you see the origin of uh, anomalous right coronary artery in relation to left coronary artery ostium and uh, sinotubular junction, uh, there are four types, so the type A, type B, type C, and type D. And type B is the most common origin from the aorta above the sinotubular plane. And the type B is origin just below the ostium of the left coronary artery. And type C is the origin below the sinotubular plane, between the midline and the origin of left coronary artery. And the type D is origin along the midline of the ascending aorta. So uh, my patient, uh, that pa uh, patient was 55 years old gentleman, recently diagnosed due to diabetes mellitus and presented to us with acute uh, onset retroesternal cyst pain for two hours duration with perspiration and uh, episode of syncope. When he reached to our emergency department, his blood pressure was 110 over 60 millimeter mercury and the, his heart rate was 52 beats per minute. And ECG, there was non-specific STT changes and uh, echocardiography didn't show any RWMA and his uh, EF was bizarre. And his uh, troponin was very high, it was 1917. So it was definitely as ACS with uh, NST, uh, non ST elevation myocardial infection. So he was uh, shifted to cath lab. And if you see the ECG, ECG uh, do not have any definitive changes, but some minor changes in the internal leads as well as in the chest lead. So he was loaded with. Uh, antiplatelet, statin, and other uh, supportive medication. And as he was stable and he was uh, uh, shifted to the cardiac uh, catheterization lab. So in the lab, so this was the left coronary shot. Actually, uh, I'm uh, because of reducing the slide, I just gave this slide. So this was the left coronary left coronary shot. So it was subtotal occlusion. And uh, and then the circumflex is also having disease in the distal part, no way. And uh, most important thing is here at this point of, uh, at this point, I try to engage the right coronary artery with the usual catheter, right RCA catheter, but I could not uh, find RCA from the uh, right coronary sinus. So uh, as the patient is having uh, chest pain and uh, uh, I'm getting this uh, uh, subtotal occlusion to LED, initially I thought we okay, will go for uh, intervention of this artery, but as a rule, we should not uh, do intervention unless you see all coronary trees. So the next option, uh, immediately we uh, took the root NGO just handheld root, uh, handheld root and geo by 10 ml. So the artery, RCA was uh, showing originating from the uh, an anomalous position. It was just above the sinotubular junction and above the left coronary artery origin. So next step was how to hook the coronary arteries now. So I tried all my catheters in the shell, like uh, ZR, multipurpose, L, uh, M plus left, M plus right, but I could not hook the artery. So finally, I took uh, a TIG catheter, a teromo is very soft catheter, a malleable soft catheter. I took that catheter and 
it was hooked with this catheter. See, this was the right coronary artery. So I thought patient had uh, syncope and some ECG changes in the, both the inferior as well as anterior lip. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, artery, maybe the culprit artery, but both the arteries were significant. So, uh, we thought we will intervene both of them. So temporary pacemaker was placed. So uh, the wire was done with the uh, BMW software and then two millimeter, um, two millimeter balloon pre done. So after pre dilation, this is the picture. So I took uh, a three millimeter, uh, 28, uh, three into 28 millimeter on its uh, Position covering the hole, and uh, this was the result. I reinflated it with high pressure. So after that, it was. Uh, quite straightforward. So, without pre dilation, I straightly um, uh, went for uh, direct stenting. Stent was position and it was deployed in nominal pressure, and then it was reinflated with high pressure. And uh, this was the final result. Good flow. Patient become asymptomatic. So, to take home from the case, anomalous origin of the RCA high above the uh, left synotipular junction is very rare anomaly. So, we all should be aware of the anomaly and its different locations so that uh, clearly so that during emergency situation like this, procedure can be done. Uh, so, and uh, uh, take one more important uh, take home here is without knowing all the coronary tree during emergency situation, even at ST elevation MST, one should not intervene without knowing the other, uh, all coronary trees. And uh, uh, the last one is, uh, we should use TIG guiding catheter if other catheter fails, because it may help you uh, during the difficult situation. Thank you for patient hearing.